welcome back to my channel um today we are gonna do a mom hack video um and these are all my mom hacks that i've learned since i've had kimber and now that i have this itty bitty baby girl um i look crazy i know i just woke up we had breakfast not too long ago and my first hack is to leave a tub of wipes or a little small pack of baby wipes to clean up your baby in a fast easy way um you can also wash their hands after that but sometimes i'm just like running around with two it's hard to clean one and then clean make sure the other one's cleaning up her area after she's done with breakfast so the wipes help so much better and this is what i have right here i like to use baby wipes because of course they are water-based and perfect for the baby's skin um sometimes i use these on kimber but usually kimber is not as messy as she used to be or as much as the baby is so water wipes it is you can use a tub with kimber i used to have a tub and i just um bought a big bag of wipes and then i would just refill it every time i ran out but i just keep it in the back of her high chair like so you can keep it in the pantry you can keep it in a drawer or um you can like get those um baby wipe holders that clip onto stuff hang it there i actually have one of those but it's too small for me and i always use like so many wipes to clean the baby because she's so so messy but um yeah guys that's the first hack and you pretty much just grab your wipe clean your baby and that's it i will show you a, a demonstration of what that is in the next clip also i'm sorry i'm wearing this this is like my mom clothes so if you can relate let me know And on to the next hack. Okay, guys, my next hack is to keep um, washable uh, bibs in the pantry right here, like so, so that whenever it's meal time and everything like that, it's easier to just grab real quick, put it on, and they can start eating. And they are, it, these bibs also catch their food, which is much better because they can just reach in and get what they couldn't get, eat or whatever didn't make, make it to their mouth and i can just wash them in the sink and, and let them air dry and hang them back up right away so the kind that i have are these i got all of these on amazon except this one which i got at walmart and it's like plastic with some cloth lining and this one i wash in the sink i have this one i forgot the brand of it but um i'll write it down here with this i got it on amazon too and this one catches their food or Catherine's food and I can either she can either eat it or I just dump it out when she's done and wash it again these I can wash in the washer and they're like a nylon um, bibs I think I don't know I'm not sure what they are but I'll link them in the description or I'll explain a little better what they are right here and these um, cover up their arms and clothes so that they don't get stained and they also catch their food so I have this pink one and this one and this one kimber has actually used it to paint before so it's stained and never came out but these are perfect guys for babies mess free i said reuse them over and over and over again so you just have them and you hang them up on a little hook you can hang them up uh in a cabinet you can hang them up next to their high chair or whatever i used to hang them along their little rail on their high chair but they would just pull them off so I eventually got this little hook and that's how I do it now. So on to the next hack. Okay guys, my next hack is to keep a basket in your car or pickup or whatever vehicle that you drive filled with pretty much extras of everything your baby needs like on road trips or if you go out and then you happen to not check the diaper bag and you don't have a diaper. You can easily just... Um, get one from the car or um you can even check your diaper bag before you go into the store just in case because sometimes i forget and then i'm like crap i have to go all the way out to the car but at least i have something you know uh for backup but the first thing that i have in my car is this um skip hop uh leash backpack for kimber because believe it or not sometimes she wants to walk 
she doesn't want to be in the car seat i mean in the cart she doesn't want to be um in the stroller she wants to walk next to me she wants to go look at the toys and all this stuff so this is the backpack a leash of course you put it on them and then you strap these together so that they can't take it off and you hold on to this that's that next is my basket of course so in this basket i have a tub of face and hand wipes to clean the babies after eating somewhere or if we're at the store of course the carts are dirty even though i wipe them down i still wipe them down after or if we go to the park i have kimber wash down her hands i have some wipes and these aren't the wipes that i always use to um change diapers but um they're super soft and on the go they're easier to grab just a, bun a little bundle of them put them in the diaper bag real quick just to go change the baby or happen to run out if i happen to run out but i'm usually um good about making sure i have wipes so these are just backup even for just boogers i've used them for boogers for camber even to just wipe down a mess real quick in the car then i have four baby diapers for Catherine, of course four because that's just the amount i always carry even in my diaper bag i always i always always have four diapers so if i run out i just grab one or if i happen to forget the diaper bag here's the setup i could just usually use it and of course butt cream for miss Catherine because she has very bad rashes literally all the time next is books this is a coloring book but usually just books more for Kimber than Catherine. Catherine will like look through these, but she usually just throws them. And the toys always end up back in the house because either Catherine will carry one in or Kimber will carry one in. So they don't always last in there. But I try to make sh try to get some before we leave the house so that they're entertained. And I also have crayons for uh, Kimber's coloring book because she loves to color. She loves to scribble, and that's so easy to um, distract her with whenever we're out. Um, at a, going out of town or something, she gets bored, she can color, scribble around. Next, I have clothes. So I have a bib, extra bib for Catherine, socks, a onesie, just a regular onesie, and some pants to go with it. That's all for Catherine. For Kimber, all I have is underwears because if you know, if she happens to go pee, like, in the car and we're on our way home i can easily stop and just throw these on her wipe her down and put her back in her seat until we get back uh oh until we get back home um and of course if we're out of town or something we don't have to buy another another underwear we could just buy her some pants throw them on and her socks usually don't get wet but that's something we can buy too and that's my box guys i got this little basket on amazon this is what it looks like. And these uh, come off, Velcro. They come off so you can like switch it up in here how you want to set it up, how big each compartment should be. So yeah guys, that's what I have in my car literally all the time. Let's get to the next hack. Next hack guys is to reuse your formula dispensers. And the way you're going to reuse this is by turning it into a snack dispenser for your babies. I'm a formula mommy, but if you are not, if you're breastfeeding, if your babies are older, you can buy this and easily use it just for snacks. Um, I got this off Amazon for my baby shower from my mother-in-law. And thank God, because I used to use this one and I could never see the amount that I had if everything came out. So that's that hat, guys. And you guys can fill it up with pretty much anything. The hole is pretty big. So I have Teddy Grahams. Yeah, I have Teddy Grahams, Cheerios, and baby cereal puffs in here. It closes easily. And to get to each compartment, you just kind of turn it. And that's that, guys. Um, I will link this item in the description for you guys. Off to the next hack. Next hack, guys, is to hang up your baby's bibs on a hanger to save up space and they're easier to get that way you just kind of oh you just pop them off real easy or of course you can just do it one by one but i just hang them up like 
this. And I pretty much have all her babes on here. This one came apart. But like I said, these are the cloth ones. These are the ones I use around the house that I take out whenever we're gonna be on the road for a long time and I happen to give her a snack. She can just get, get dirty on these ones. Um, these are just pretty much our going out ones. Um, I love my reusable bibs most. Um, they're easier to wash, easier to put away, and they're not a big hassle like these that I have to wash, hang them up to dry, and then put them up on the hanger. But this does save up space in her closet and in her drawers. I don't. I used to fold them up, but now I don't. Now I just hang them up, guys, and I promise you, you will love it. I love it. I don't have a hard time with it, and yeah. That's that one hack, guys. Okay, guys, next hack is to keep a basket either in your living room or hallway or by the stairs if you have upstairs in your home for a cat. It's like a catch-all for your kids' toys, clothes, random things that they bring out of the room or that go on the other side of the house. So in here, it's pretty cool. Ah! So right here, it's pretty cool. As you can see, something fell out, but there's a little bit of everything in here and the way I make this work is we clean up the living room and once it's either bedtime or I'm cleaning that area at the moment, I pick this basket up, um, I put everything where it belongs and it's empty. And again, ready for the next day if we happen to have more toys to put away, which is always a yes. We always have something to put up. We always have Kimber putting toys in here. The baby likes to dump this out, so we just refill it up again and then take it back to the rooms. Um, the toys are never ending, and this is how I manage to keep me, um, keep myself together because little messes make me crazy, and uh, this is how I just keep myself calm, and uh, it's much easier to clean up at the end of the day or I like I said in that moment of cleaning those areas my next hack guys is these magic erasers they are my lifesavers and I actually learned this from a mommy that I have on my snapchat so Kimber went through like a stage of drawing on the walls on the doors and she still does it occasionally because there's some drawings on our wall somewhere if you really look there's some on the doors anywhere guys even in the kitchen there's something always everywhere. And you can even use these for skid marks along your baseboards, your doors, walls, anywhere. So you pretty much get these out, you soak it up with water, squeeze it out, and then you just go over the marked up area. And I'll show that part next, how you would do that. Just to uh, give you guys an example, because there is green on the wall over there, sadly. I don't think, I don't, I don't know, we're trying to make her stop, but for now, this is our go-to for that. It's been working perfectly. I got these at Walmart, and it is the four pack, I think, yeah, four pack, and they're pretty good, big guys. I can use these around the house for a while. Like, not reuse, but like, they'll last me the whole day. Like, you know, if I find something else, there I go get my little eraser and I use it again. So, I really recommend these guys. I don't know if it's really a hack or if it's just common sense, but this is how I get uh, this is off the walls pens, um, markers, crayons, colored pencil, food. You can get anything off with these guys, I swear. So let's go off and show you guys how these work. next hack is to fold your baby's clothes the Marie Kondo um, way uh, her series is on Netflix if you haven't watched that um, before I found this technique I used to roll Kimber's clothes up into like little rolls and just set it in here just like this so this is Catherine's um, onesies and pajama shirts next is her jeans some more uh, sweats um some pajama jeans that didn't fit in the bottom and these ones are just like her bloomers and um little shorts and down here same thing just regular um daily pants these are pajama ones these are outfit jeans or pants and these are pajama bottoms and these are another row of 
um, outfit uh, pants. And then here is her blankets. And I rolled them up how she does that. And the Kimbers are the same. Sorry, my lighting sucks. Um, Next tag but, is yeah. to make your own homemade Lunchables for your babies. Um, I didn't get to finish off most of the hacks yesterday because I got busy and I was decluttering, but today I'm gonna get them all done. The rest that I have, it's just a few, but this one is next, which is your homemade uh, Lunchables. And you will need Ritz cookies or any kind of cookie that you like, cracker, any kind of cracker that you like, pepperonis, Kobe Jack cheese, and your own kind of ham that you like, that you prefer. So let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, and today I was just uh, making lunch, so that's why I have them put on plates. But if you guys are on the go, you guys can always put them in little sack lunch pouches or um, containers. I like to use a block of cheese and cut them in slices and then in half again to make smaller portions, but you can always get sliced cheese and then just cut it into little squares I like to stack up my ham and then cut it into smaller uh, kind of triangular shapes uh, or little squares, whatever. But these are oval, so they just come out like kind of like um, triangles and it works perfectly, guys. And I was also using pepperoni because Kimber prefers pepperoni and Catherine kind of gets rashes from it, but she can eat them good. Uh, and today I just decided to give them both. And that's it guys for that hack and on to the next hack um, so my next hack is to make your own um, applesauce pouches because um, I used to buy the applesauce little pouches but it's more waste and I when I ran out I have to go buy more and this way I just have an, an amount of uh, pouches and I know how much I have at a time and when I'm about to run out I just have to go get a big jar of applesauce and wash the ones that are, have been used and reuse those same pouches so these pouches that I got are from Twist Shake Baby off of Instagram. And I think they are on Facebook, but I found them on Instagram. And these are the little bags that I'm talking about. So these are my little baggies. They're all different patterns. They twist off. Maybe. They twist off. And the bottoms um, open up so you can fill them up with applesauce and they close up again. Make sure this is always on though before you start filling them up or else it will just leak out the bottom. But I'm missing one, my marble one. Found it because we just recently used this one for Miss Catherine. And I don't always do this guys, but I decided to since it's warmer and we're gonna take uh, more trips to the park so a little a little applesauce as a snack at the park works perfectly so let's uh, get started to show you how to fill these up you also need two jars of applesauce whatever applesauce you would like um, whatever brand you prefer sweetened unsweetened whatever guys uh, applesauce with cinnamon applesauce with strawberry whatever guys it all works so don't forget your two bottles of applesauce and let's get started on showing you how to fill those up. So 
Start off by holding it into your hand like it's a little cup and making sure all of the bag is like kind of spread out and opened up so that you can uh, add your applesauce in here. I am doing it by spoonfuls, but it is much easier to just pour it in. And there you have it guys um, make sure you have some paper towels on the side or a rag to clean it up because I always uh, get some on the sides and whenever you close it up the ones that the applesauce that does get on the little lines inside will kind of shoot out when you try to zip it up and you guys can just set these in um, a little tray in your fridge or stack them up it works either way that's about it guys for this hack I hope you guys enjoyed this hack and let me know if you try it if you have any questions and if you already do this, then that's awesome. I'm glad you do because I love reusing things.